Okay, so show that these are the roots of this equation just here. Now this is going to have to do with what you've got just found in the top line because that's the whole purpose of doing that. So basically, if, if you look at this x4 minus 10x squared plus 5, it actually relates to that top line. Like if you get the top line and you factorise out the tan theta, then you'd have 5 minus 10 tan squared theta plus 10 4 theta. And that actually just relates to the top line. So if I solve this equation and I make it equal to 0, then I'll get 10 theta equals 0. And this goes times that and it just disappears. And then I get 5 tan squared theta plus 10 4 theta equals 0. Now the roots of these two equations, like if I rewrite that, tan 4 theta minus tan, tan, tan squared theta plus 5 equals 0, um, the roots of this equation, these two equations are the same roots as when you make, replace that whole thing with tan 5 theta and you solve that. Now in this equation, if I let x equal tan theta, that means that we have x to the 4 minus 10x squared plus 5, which equals 0, which is the exact equation that I'm looking at, showing that these particular things are their roots. Okay, so it's the same solution as solving that tan 5 theta equals 0. And this one here, this is where, tan, where theta equals 0, or where x will equal 0. And that's not a solution of that one, because it's a power of 4. This is a power of 5. And when you take the fifth power out, what remains will match with that there. So if we get this and we solve this, we need to disregard the root where it is equal to 0. So the first one 0, then we have pi, then we have 2 pi, 3 pi, like you could keep going around. Um, so basically we have 0 pi, 2 pi, then if I add 2 pi onto 0, I get 2 pi, so that's not going to work. Same root, pi onto 2, 2 pi, 2 pi onto pi, you get 3 pi. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and I need to go one more 2 pi onto 2 pi. That would give you 4 pi. I don't need that one because that's that there is the root of that. So I'm just going to go back on that. So because it is the root of that, we can disregard the zero one. So these, these four roots here that we're going to get, they are the roots of that equation that we have above. Okay, so looking at that then, that means that the roots x would equal tan pi on 5, tan 7 pi on 5, tan 3 pi on 5, or tan 4 pi on 5. Now we're really getting to a point for what we're after, but it was plus or minus tan pi on 5, and plus or minus tan 2 pi on 5. So we're nearly there. The first two roots, you might notice, the first two roots here, that's all good. We have to show that these ones here are actually plus or minus that. So if I get tan 3 pi on 5, that's actually in quadrant 2, so tan will be negative. So that's negative tan. Now I'm just going to reduce it. The acute angle for that one would have been taking away 2 pi on 5. So that's going to be minus, it's equivalent to minus tan 2 pi on 5. Okay, and that's good. And then if we look at the other one, tan 4 pi on 5, that's going to be minus tan pi on 5 to make 180. Because pi minus 4 pi on 5 will equal pi on 5. And vice versa, pi minus pi on 5 equals 4 pi and 5, because like 1 whole minus 4 fifths. So therefore the roots are um, 10 pi and 5, 10 2 pi and 5, then we have minus 10 2 pi and minus 10 pi on 5. So basically it's just run this. So you had the product of the roots for the other one. Now and the other way to do this um, would be to, if you take this equation here, 
and you let u equal x squared, you form a quadratic. Then solve your quadratic, so u equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus the square root of 100. So you got 100 minus 4 times 5, so that's 80. 80 will simplify to root 16 times root 5, which is 4 root 5 on 2. And then if you factorise out the 2, you get 5 plus or minus 2 root 5 on 2, and they cancel. x squared equals 5 plus or minus root 2 root 5, because this is what u equals, and remember u equals x squared. So then you've got a square root the other side with a plus or minus. Now the tan pine 5 is the smallest root, so it'd have to be the positive because it's in that quadrant. And the smallest value would be 5 minus 2 root 5.